So it's been a couple months since I did the other video. Kind of got busy with work. Working out of town, but we have made a lot of progress. So the kids have taken the front bumper off in anticipation of building a new one. The front end's been disassembled. So you can see the whole front end's gone. The torsion bars we couldn't get out of the uh, socket, so just cut them, but we'll have to trim those up later. Both sides are the same. And as you can see on the back, we've got the uh, rear axle out. It's just blocked up in position now. We uh, just in the middle of fabbing up some brackets to hold it in place. And we're just going to weld it right to the frame so it sits basically right there. There'll be a bracket up to the frame. So yeah, basically just put a bracket from there to here. And then from that bumper stop up as well to prevent twist. And yeah, pretty much we've saved everything we could. Um, the drive shaft, we got to remeasure it. They'll probably take it to a drive shaft shop to have them fabricate a new one. Just it's going to go straight from there to the to the front of the differential. Originally, I was hoping that the machine could sit with the track a little bit inside, so the track would be under. But I forgot to take into account the uh, calipers and the uh, disc brake. So. Given we have an 8 inch, 8 and a half inch diameter drive um, cylinder to make the drive sprocket out of. So with that diameter, the, the rubber, the edge of the track can only come up to about here. So it's going to stick out to about here. So that'll end up making it just over 7 feet wide, I think. But uh, I'm going to have to live with it. It's the trial. It's the first run. So we'll see. Maybe we can make some changes for this next pass, get a different vehicle. Just working on the brackets. Here you can see I've coped it to match the uh, the angle of the, the drive shaft and then once that's installed on the drive shaft we'll just weld that to the frame and then seal it up. Over here we've got the cylinder, so this cylinder a guy gave me, I was at the metal supermarket and he overheard me asking about an 8 inch piece of pipe, so basically this is from an old pneumatic cylinder of some kind, so we're going to cut a 4 inch strip off of this and then weld triangle shaped uh, cogs so that uh, there you can see the, the material for the track. So when that, when that track material, it's in two pieces, when bolted together, my kids have cut all of the cleat pieces, so let's go grab one. Cleats for one side, so this is a shallow channel or instrument channel. So as you can see, it's, a, it's got a small flange to it. So this will go between the two pieces like so and then the cleats will go in between the channels so if there's one channel here another channel there the, the cleat will be in between the two and it'll be rubber strips like this so should work just fine but you can see now with an eight and a half inch diameter these cleats will be here and uh, you know as they roll over with the track. It'll just clear the edge of the body. I don't really care if it hits it a little bit, but obviously we don't want to completely wreck it. So, once we get the axle welded up, we're going to put the two brackets from here to there. Then um, we'll take the blocks out. Then we got to fab the cog. So, I have an original rim here. We, we only have one right now. This is the original spare. 
So I'm going to take, basically cut the rim this out right here, just on the inside. So all I have is this cog. I have a piece of three inch pipe outside. I'm going to weld uh, about four inches of that onto this round piece. Should just clear the nuts, I hope. Let's so we'll do some testing and fitting. And then once that piece is taken out, the round eight inch will be placed, and then I'll take some material and weld that in place as well. And start the cogs. Be a lot of trial and error to make sure it's nice and uh, centered. Can't have too much wobble. So yeah, that's where we are right now. It's uh middle of February so yeah by the end of this week I've got a few days off to work on it so I'll take another video and give you an update.